Hey there, Leo. It's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. I'm going to pull some cards for you guys. I've pre-shuffled. I'm just going to shuffle a few more times. I just want to clear a little bit. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, as well as the Feminines, Mars, and the Masculines, Venus. This is the first half of February. Okay, and so for everybody watching, for the best and highest good of all those concerned, what do we need to know, what do we need to learn for Leo today? Let's clear all negative energies across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all those concerned. And fill that empty space with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew, you guys are hot. When the masculine energy comes in, it makes me really sweaty. So there may be a lot of masculines out there. Leo, Leo, Leo. Okay, here we go. Leo, today is... February 2nd, 2020, and this is for the first half of February, Leo. Okay, so first card out for you guys is the Ten of Wands. You're challenged by the lovers. What's in your foundation? The Justice card reversed, and then your recent past. The hangman. What's in your now moment in the crowning position? The hair font reversed. What's coming up for you guys? The two of swords reversed. Do you see anything? One second, I just want to move this back a little bit so you can see the cards. Sorry about that. I thought it was positioned right. I must have moved it. All right. So how you see yourself is the Queen of Cups. And what's around you or how others might see you. And that is the Ace of Pentacles. Nice. And what are your blocks right now that you might need to work on? The Wheel of Fortune reversed. I want to move these over just a little bit here. And then we finish up with the death card, okay, which can be a full transformation, which is great. It also can have to do with a death that's possible, and if that's the case, I'm very sorry for your loss. I'm going to do a little bit of a hangman thing here at the end, as I normally do. So this card's connecting you to whatever's going to be left hanging in limbo at the end of the read. This is the king of swords reversed. And then what's left hanging in limbo is the four of cups reversed. And you'll get another card too. You just won't see it till the end, okay? And you might get more than one card depending on what that card is, okay? All right, Leo. The bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles reversed, and there's a little bit of backstory I'm gonna pull for you to see where, where we're coming from here. All right. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles starting here, and then we have the Tower, so something explosive or sudden event or an epiphany came in, and then the Six of Wands. Then we have the next card was the Ten of Cups here, and then the Nine of Swords, and then the Three of Pentacles last here, and this would then be your underlying energy. And this has to do with some kind of issues at work could be a third party situation or just issues, um, not getting along with other people at work. And this is about um, juggling. And that can just be doing the, get the daily grind. It doesn't have to mean anything. It's just about trying to balance your everyday thing. And then something sudden comes in here, whether it's an event or an epiphany. But it kind of catapults you into this um, successful place. This is good news, success, followers, leading the way, getting attention. 
And then here's like complete emotional fulfillment. So you go from this, which is the usual day to day, to all of a sudden you're up in the limelight doing amazingly, okay? But this is some suffering and silence going on behind the scenes because there's issues at work here. You're not getting along with everyone. Or there may be a third party situation. And that can just be third party interference as well, you know? It doesn't have to be, you know, a lover's type relationship thing. So we're going to be clarifying all these cards as well as pulling some oracle cards at the end. So we'll get some more information. So with the three of pentacles reversed and the hangman upright. So in this deck, the hangman is very much, um, you know, trying to escape from the box. Like, you know, you're like in a fishbowl. You can't get out. And you're, you know, you have your... Your ankles change. So this is a pretty severe one as far as hangman. So you feel trapped at your job. And yet you may have something on the side. Unless it's related to family. And whatever you're doing with your family, you're getting a whole lot of attention and success with. Or you have a job on the side. Maybe something you started on your own that's doing really well. Um, but you also have this other job or situation at least where you're not getting along and you feel trapped by it because you maybe you can't get out at the moment or you think you can't get out and then we have the foundation there which is the justice reverse there's some kind of injustice there at this workplace and it doesn't have to be a formal workplace it can be church it can be school any place of co-creation where you're having issues so let's get to the bottom of it because i don't there's no like specific characters there in the underlying energy Except it could be a family. It could be a family uh, type of work or business. So let's see what's going on here. The central energy is the Ten of, of Wands, which is a burden, you know. It's carrying the weight of the world upon your shoulders, literally. A lot of responsibilities. That card for me comes up as, as man on the run, too. <laughs> right? He's trying to get away with something, but he's carrying too much. He's going to fall soon. So let's start with the Three of Pentacles. Why do we have that for Leo? Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, and it feels heavy for me uh, right now. Um, the Page of Wands is reversed. There's frustration here. This, for me, is either um, overworking, right, or no longer working, or just not working. This could, this is like, you know, done working on your desires. You've figured out what you want, or you've been overworking on a project, and now you're done. Or someone may still be overworking. Or someone who's just not working. Um, but there's frustration there either way. But it's not really telling us specifically why. I feel like you just want to leave this, that, you want to leave that so you can go on to do whatever this is. But you're still stuck there doing that. Alright, so part of it's because you have to hold your tongue. You're not allowed to talk here. at this workplace, all right, and you have a lot to say, okay, which is Leo, right? So the recent past is that hangman. Why do we feel like we're in a fishbowl there? Why are we trapped? All right, so you have the Six of Cups, the King of Pentacles reversed, and the Queen of Swords reversed. So these could be two who've had um, some negativity in the past or a bad childhood, this could be a couple, or this could be any two people, right? It can be a couple, it could be friends, it could be co-workers. But two people who, I don't know if they don't, it doesn't necessarily mean they don't get along. There's been some kind of issue in the past, and now the past is returning. There's something that they need to work out from the past. The King of Pentacles reversed and the Queen of Swords reversed. And um, see a new perspective, because this is coming out on the hangman. So both, it's not like anyone's right, and that's why you're stuck. Stuck in this situation. Let's get into the foundation here. <sighs> the injustice of the foundation, why? Love. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. And the Ten of Wands reversed. This is somebody offering love in order to let go of all their burdens. Um, 
this energy, and this this is Libra energy here. We have Capricorn, we have Taurus, Gemini, lots of Libra, and Scorpio as well, just in the main, uh, the major arcana. And then of course we have any kind of water sign can come up with the Queen of Cups, which of course is going to be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. All right, so you're offering in the foundation, there's this big offer of love. And that can, that can revolve around self-love and spiritual love as well. The Queen of Pentacles may be ungrounded in doing it, um, so much so that she had to dump all of her responsibilities. She may have had to leave a job because she couldn't handle um, the feelings that she was dealing with. Or she couldn't function. She had to offer love because she couldn't contain it anymore. And she's offering it to this place of work, of co-creation. So it doesn't say it's being offered to anyone specific, but it's being maybe she's put, just putting everything into her work. Let's see where this is going with the center here. Ten of the Ten of Wands is coming up with the Ten of Cups reversed and the Queen of Wands reversed. All right. So this is someone who's who's got a lot of burdens or responsibilities on their shoulders, an ending a family or emotional cycle. And she's either exhausted or pissed because of the injustice she feels about it. I mean, there could be a divorce here too. There could be some kind of break in contract because you have the Hierophant reverse crowning here. And then the challenge is lovers. So let's see, what is the challenge with the lovers there? feels very heavy in my heart, you guys. I'm sorry. So for the lovers, you have the Knight of Wands reversed and the Two of Wands reversed. This may, could be someone who feels like they were played without option, like they, they had no choice, like they fell for someone and somebody played them. Or this is the Queen of Wands literally needing to hold back her passions because of whatever restriction she's under with this hangman energy. So the, the lovers doesn't have to be the Queen of Wands, though. That could be somebody else. That could be... The Queen of Wands could be Leo, but the Knight of Wands can be Leo, too. And then you see yourself as the Queen of Cups, upright. You see yourself as in the right. So this could be somebody else who feels burdened by you. Um, this could be a couple, too, where maybe you're, you could be a third party in this couple. Someone either getting played, falling short on passionate energies. Maybe someone feels like they're falling short in a relationship because they're not being satisfied by their partner. Or someone's holding back their desires and just saying no. But there could be a situation where it's because they're, they're having feelings for somebody else. And it's not their option. They can't control their heart, right? So the uh, crowning position is the Hierophant reversed. And that flipped right out. So this could be an empress flipping out. This could be someone who... This could be... Um, the empress reversed. Could be someone who just had a child. Because we have the page of cups here. But also could be someone who's... Alternative. Or spiritual. Or someone who's just divorced. and But also just had a baby. But this also could be someone... Who's not doing well. And their child's taking care of them. The, the Empress Reversed is either uh, someone who's sick or ill, you know, an older parent who you're taking care of, or it's someone who can be really nasty, right? Or it could be just someone who's usually in power who's just having a bad day. But she, she's either um, very spiritual or alternative with a message of love, or she's been divorced or broke some kind of contract, It's possible she might have had a miscarriage since we have the death card next to that situation. This is um, gaining clarity in a situation. 
So there's, there's a child or some kind of message of love that may come in to give the Empress Reverse, which definitely can be Taurus, because we have two Taurus energies there, um, clarity in the situation. The Two of Swords Reverse there is that clarity. And that's about some kind of painful ending, betrayal. This can relate to back pain and any kind of back treatments as well. And this is about coming clean or getting clean. And they, so you may be getting acupuncture or something like that. So you may be fit, like doing a lot of um, things to physically cleanse yourself, like acupuncture, um, massage, whatever it is that helps you uh, release any toxins from your body after perhaps a breakup or a divorce or a break in contract from a, a work relationship. But we have, again, we have Taurus, Gemini, you, Leo, Libra, Capricorn, Scorpio. I said Libra. And then there could be, you're coming up as this energy. So this could be you as a female have water in your chart, or you're just very loving, kind, and intuitive, or you're the masculine expressing your female side, or you're being taken over by your partner's energy or your child's energy. A lot of times now when I'm seeing this kind of energy that doesn't seem to reflect the sign that I'm doing, it's because you're allowing other people to take over your life. You're not expressing your authenticity. You're allowing other people to take advantage of you. So that's them in taking over your energy, unless that's you. So the Queen of Cups, why is the Queen of Cups Leo today? Whoops, that flipped out. Okay, you have the Three of Swords there. So it's some kind of broken heart separation. It was reversed, but it flipped out and then turned over. So you might have been healing and forgiving, but you go back and forth between feeling broken hearted and healing again. And there's some, it could be broken up from a family situation. This is dysfunctional family. You might have lost a family member, or you might have gone into debt or lost a lot of money here. But I'm not getting like that negative feeling. I think this is all past and you're really doing better here. And this can be some kind of family function that was rained out too that you're okay with, but you know, you, there may be some disappointment there. Um, or maybe you're finally, you're finally getting out of this situation you didn't want to be in because you have something really good but you need to clear yourself of this situation, some injustice, you're looking the other way, you're looking toward a new life, and you have complete transformation here. And there definitely could be a divorce or a break in contract. So it's like it's over, but you know, it's just the residual stuff that you have to deal with still. Around you is that ace of pentacles. Or people see you as that. They see you as hope for a new life, or they see you as someone they can get money from, perhaps. All right, we have the tower reversed and the death card reversed on this ace of pentacles. So this could be in the aftermath of a death that's already happened or someone's dying and it's taken a long, long time, like a parent or an elder or anyone really who's just had an illness for a long, long time and now it's final. But it's been going on a lot and it might have cost you a lot of money or now you're looking forward to some kind of inheritance from it because maybe you've had to spend a lot of money to take care of that person. And the blocks that you have to clear have to do with this, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, which is the Magician and the Seven of Cups. And this is about magically making all your dreams come true. And the block is not believing that it can happen. And yet it's here the transformations here, it's just the wheel just has to turn over. This is just about timing. There is a new life waiting for you. You're definitely coming, you're coming up as like Cinderella, okay? With a new life, it's just about divine timing and the transformation, the full transformation, the death, the transition, the end is here. And the end relates to this Taurus energy or Hierophant energy. That can be a change in religion too where you left a religion or you left an establishment, you left a marriage, you left a tradition, anything that has to do with commitment and contracts or societal norms. You've left that 
completely behind because you you felt trapped by it. It wasn't your authentic self, and now you are your authentic self. So congratulations, Leo. The death card at the end. Why do we have that? There you go. New passion for the Queen of Cups. I think you're a little bit overwhelmed, though. You are up right here, but this this might overwhelm you because there is a huge change here, whether it's a person who passed or if it's a relationship, a job, a cycle, anything that's ended here, it has completed. The day the music died is coming up again. It's been coming up all week. Um, and then we have the King of Swords there reversed. The King of Swords reversed. Let's see. I'm going to know specifically for you guys. All right, you have the Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant again reversed, and the Ace of Pentacles reversed. So this is some kind of opportunity or invitation, perhaps something new to research. You may be doing some research or investigating um, the gold coin for me, which is unity consciousness. And um, this also can be your child. It can be a student or someone who's just an earth sign. An opportunity invitation to learn about spirituality or thinking outside the box, something alternative, right? Not your traditional. And then um, holding back, maybe needing to save money or learning how to magnetize or learn about magnetism, right? You have the gold coin here and here, right? You're, in, you're looking at something and you could be looking at jewelry as well. Anything that you're looking at very closely for the quality of it, something you wanna look at every inch of it very closely, like that kind of energy. So this King of Swords, He's reversed. So if he's not somebody who passed away, he could be somebody who's a lawyer involved with that. Um, can be someone who's, you know, it's not good when the King of Swords is reversed because he could be a liar um, or he's just not in his truth. So it doesn't have to be like the worst kind of liar, but it can be, can be the worst kind of liar. Um, but it has to do with starting over in love. And so he might just he might just be struggling with who he is, um, needing an opportunity to start a new life, maybe saving his money, um, or maybe he's just reversed because he's keeping to himself right now while he's going through the transition. I mean, he could be the Taurus. He can he could have Scorpio in his chart as well. And why do we have the Four of Cups reversed there? Well, the Four of Cups says the Wheel of Fortune there. Starting over in love is really good. So we have the Three of Cups reversed, so there could be a third-party situation. That can also be overindulgences. It can be antisocial behavior. It can be gossip, a really negative group. Okay, and then here's fighting. So if it's a negative group, there could be fighting, competition, or if it's a third party, there may be some kind of game playing or competition or on a quest but either way it's divine timing it's meant to happen so uh, that can be the Super Bowl too <laughs> since we have the Super Bowl maybe the, some fans are being negative starting over somebody was bored and now they're not Taurus and Scorpio and then Libra. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Libra are really heavy around you, Leo. And I always see Leo as Scorpio. And of course, Libra as well. And Taurus, so that makes sense. Let's see here. Um, the cards that were coming out after the Four of Cups, you had the King of Cups reversed, which this can be someone who's totally emotionally detached or over emotional, and it can be an alcoholic as well. Right. So it could be someone, yeah, we have the Three of Cups there. It could be someone who's an alcoholic or just is who drank too much today with the Super Bowl. And then we have the Seven of Wands, which is standing up for yourself to others. So maybe someone was getting some liquid courage to do something they have to do, but they're scared to. So why do we have the Seven of Wands and the King of Cups reversed for Leo? Well, that could be 
That could be when you when you go home, maybe because you got drunk, you have to stand up for yourself. Uh, for for being out and howling at the moon for Super Bowl Sunday. This could be coming in coming home at night, coming into Union, and uh, that again, I'm getting State of the Union address. I got that earlier. So the full, the full moon is not here till next week. And that can have to do with union as well. You could be um, standing up for yourself to fight for love. Okay? Because you have the queen of cups here, and then here's the king of cups here. She's upright, he's reversed. She's probably been drinking today um, because of the game day, and so she they're both reversed here. Um, so they could have broken up. You could, they could be siblings, too. They don't have to be a couple, but they can be, for sure. Uh, or um, it's possible that one of you, the Queen of Cups, if you're Leo, you may have gotten a lawyer because you're pissed, you've had it, you're tired of his drinking and going out. But there's definitely some kind of love. The challenge is the lover for you. And so you've been carrying the weight of the world upon your shoulders, and you may be the Queen of Wands reversed as well. And the challenge of the lover could be someone you have feelings for or literally your partner that you've been dealing with who's now drunk and so you're pissed at them. So let's see what else we have here. So we have the Eight of Cups coming out walking. This is somebody walking away here. So it looks like the King of Cups walking away or losing their temper, okay? So they're walking away so they don't lose their temper before, you know, it's like someone's, someone's uh, lighting a torch, so they're trying to instigate. Someone's trying to get somebody pissed. Maybe you want them to get in a fight with you, so you have ammunition against them in a divorce, that kind of thing. So the King of Wands comes up right here next to the Temperance card, all right? So we have someone who's about to lose their temper but is walking away before they do. All right, so you, Leo can be either one, but we've got a Queen of Cups and a King of Cups, and we got a Queen of Wands reversed and a King of Wands reversed. The King and Queen of Cups are reversed too, except for here where the Queen of Cups is upright, so you could have two water sign females as well. Let's see now. <sighs> what is the death? The Queen of Cups definitely has a new passion. So I did this on the death card again. She wants to be by herself. She wants this relationship, whether she's leaving family or just one person, her partner. She wants to be alone. She wants to find peace by herself. She does not want to be with her partner anymore. She wants to shine her own light and possibly be a star. So maybe she's been doing something on the side, or that's you, Leo, that you want to continue with. You don't want to have to work for your partners. Maybe if you have a business of your own and your partner makes you help them with the business, but you have your own thing that you want to do and that's it. You don't want to do the partner's business anymore. So here's the chariot reversed, the three of wands reversed, the nine of wands reversed, and here's some sadness, grief, maybe a loss of a family member still, whether it's in divorce or a, there was both. Maybe you had a loss of a family member recently and you're splitting up with someone but this is a surrender, complete surrender, um, looking back to the past and um, feeling, seeing how broken you were or seeing that you were on the war path. You weren't on the path to your highest good. This is coming up for Leo. And so maybe that's why you've been, you know, unusually down for Leo, because Leo's usually really up and getting attention. So I'm gonna pull a card from the numerology deck before it gets too, too long. So I'm trying to keep these under 30 minutes, but we're already gonna be over. So Leo, 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 what is the advice for Leo? That flipped right out for you guys. Synchronicity. Okay, so follow your synchronicities. If you're seeing a lot of coincidences, pay attention to them. It's your guides trying to connect with you to give you guidance. You also have pride. Let go of your pride. 
When it's reversed, it just means it's even more significant. And this is the 19, which is the sun. Um, you know, Leo's so used to being exposed, and there's def and here's relationship change is the next card. So 56 is the two of swords, which is being in your knowing or pretending not to know, like someone's been avoiding the inevitable in a relationship change. And we have all throat and third eye here for you guys. And then underneath is follow your dreams. So the underlying energy, it's telling you, Leo, follow your dreams. 58 is the reflection of, or 85 is the reflection of 58. 58 is the four of swords, which is asleep, right? Or connecting in, in the 5D, meditating, praying, whatever it is. But then the reflection of that would be waking up, right? Getting up, grounding things into the 3D reality, your now moment. All right, so let's see. Romance Angels. Leo. Leo. We have three. One, two, three. The only numbers, one, two, three, and then ten. One, two, three, jump. It's like you want to, it's like a quantum leap to, to 10. You want to take, you want to get to 10 before you've got even gotten to four, which you can do because you're Leo. Um, but you may have to come back then and redo some things. Let's see here. Pay attention to the red flag. So again, find, follow your signs and synchronicities. And then this could be the one you've already met, the romantic partner you seek. So if you're really leaving a relationship, you know who you want to be with. Or if you're single, you know who you want to be with. Unrequited love, there is not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. And beneath that would stay optimistic about your love life. Okay? So if you're single, you may have issues with the person that you like. Or if you're not single, you're leaving one relationship to go into another relationship. And then from the Kipper deck, here. You might like that this person treats you like a lady, Leo. And it might be like uncharacteristic of you because where you usually like to be loud and out there and be seen and get attention, with this person, it makes you want to be quiet and demure. This is for Leo. The privileged lady, which is coming up like the Queen of Cups here. The privileged lady, courtship and lovers. Okay, but I think this is not your usual person, Leo. I don't think you're used to this kind of person. Okay, they're really going to treat you right. Here's change, main male, and the mature woman. Okay, so actually you're, this man may be younger than you and may be of a different culture or at a distance from you, but there's definitely changes in the making here. That could be a, a son and mother situation as well. Um, but yeah, that's beautiful. Privileged lady, courtship, and lovers, guys. Leo, that's beautiful. What could, how could you want more than that? It's gorgeous. Okay, Leo, I hope that was helpful. Make sure to drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, and get your nature. It was just 3333, three, 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 Leo. Rise and be loved. Bye.